Is that okay? Yeah. It's alright if I have my coffee. So I'm, uh, my name's Dave Groves. I'm 52 years of age. I'm originally from Wales, but I've lived pretty much all over the country. Uh, but we settled down in here in Leighton Buzzard 23 years ago. It's really important to move up and involved in your local area. Um, so often, you know, I, I go down the pub with my quiz team friends or um, just a group of mates and we're all, we have the gripes, the local gripes of what could be done better. And so, you know, I, I was fed up of being the man who griped about it and I think my wife said to me, you need to do something about it, put up or shut up. So, this is the start, this is the journey. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 They need to be aware of um, the forthcoming elections. It's quite a nice estate, isn't it? There's plenty of room for people to park. <laughs> Is this how you enjoy spending your Saturdays? I'll be honest with you, it's um, the first time I've done it and I haven't got a problem with it. I thought I would have. I thought you'd get more abuse but people are really quite polite i think i think they might actually think we just paid deliverers as opposed to the members but and you know if we're going to be representing Leighton buzzard it's good to see actually what the new places look like so you know what you're going to be representing So I am a member of the Labour Party and so I decided to go along to local Labour Party meetings to hear what um, fellow thinkers um, are, are saying about the country and also then down to Lake Buzzard. And it just happens that, you know, I started going nine months ago and this year, 2023, it's the local elections. So I um, volunteered, I said I, I would stand. I'm standing in Grove Reward in Lane Buzzard. Um, everybody within, this, within these campaigns, they're all volunteers. So it's beyond the day job. It's when you can fit it in around family, around um, other things that they do. The interesting thing about the group that I'm uh, party and the, and the people campaigning in Lake Buzzard is they all do other things beyond their day job as well, and that's the, that's part of the that's part of the interesting piece about this is that these people really care. They don't care about being in power. They care about delivering and influencing for local people. Because what mm. you're saying, and that's one of the things we can say. Yeah. We <clears throat> will, on the town council, influence CBC councillors to yeah. do what they should be doing. Exactly. Because that's what you did. Yeah. And that, it gave all fruit. That, I think, is the key point. Yeah. There is, There are the responsibilities that you could discharge as a councillor, which mm. on the town council are relatively limited, greater at CBC. Mm. But there's mm. also the advocacy you could do on behalf of people even if you can't do it yourself. Yeah. yeah. It's the clarity with which you say it, and it's the credibility of the message. So, mm. I mean, I'll pick on Pat, but he's our elected councillor, yeah. and he's got a really mm. good reputation. Yeah. Pat Carberry gets things done. Yeah. Mm. Imagine if there were more Pat Carberries. 
Here we are. Yeah. That's a good sign. Yeah. No pressure. <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, I'm right <laughs> So I, 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 I'm a trustee of a local school and whilst doing that, I found that, um, well, we built a 3G football pitch faster than the local authority put up a 20 mile an hour speed sign. The difference in where you can drive through events, their way of um, slowly, bureaucratically, um, working, it's just, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for our society. It doesn't work for the people of Lane Buzzard. And I want to be able to start driving that through, that relentless drive that you can have to be able to make a difference. We are going to the um, Astral Park to the quarterly parish council meeting for Leighton Buzzard, Leighton Lindsley Town Council, just to hear what they've got to say. wonderful way that the community does pull together and I'm very very proud of the way the community pulls together and supports each other. An excellent group of officers who do these jobs for us. We can only direct. We need to direct what the town council does. The people sitting over there and all the people working with them are the people that actually put it in front of you. And I'm going to be actually totally grateful for the things that they do for all of us. Um, Do you think you can achieve what you want to achieve on the town council? Well, that's really interesting. Um, they seem to try and say that anything that really makes a meaningful difference to Lake Resident you can't achieve. However, some of those people are also county councillors and it made it feel like it's the officers of the council, the county council, that make the decisions and not the elected uh, representatives. So, are we saying democracy is actually dead in central Bedfordshire, but it's actually run by the paid people, paid officers? Or is it run by the councillors on behalf of their, uh, the people that they represent? That's what I got from today. And I'm struggling a little bit with that. This is how it should be run, is it? The county council and town council should take instruction from county councillors and town councillors? You heard Councillor Berry tonight. Our job is to direct. The officers' jobs are to do what they direct. And then they can't get anything done because clearly the officers of the council, the county council, don't do what they direct. Or maybe they're not very influential, or maybe they're not very good at directing. Or maybe the officers have decided, well, you know, okay, they're elected, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna, um, we're gonna do what we wanna do. If it's the equivalent of the civil service not listening to government is what he said tonight. It's not right.
Mainz, is 